All right, YouTube, I am back with another video. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, turn on post notifications, ask me any questions down in the comment box below. But today's video, we are gonna be talking about how and when to get your 180 wave cut, like pretty much how to stay on top of your cuts for your 180 waves to make sure you're progressing the right amount of time, make sure you're getting the waves perfectly how you want them and then consistently on how um more consistently to where your waves are showing up every day you get a cut or every day you're you know it's a new wave you're getting a better pattern just pretty much your progression your pattern which is very very important because it's the cuts it's really what's going to show your waves off and then two your hair is growing so the more your hair grows the better your waves are going to look because the deeper they're going to be so i'm going to go in detail now make sure you guys watch all the way through because i'm going to tell you some good tips techniques all that, y'all already know, I'm gonna make sure I get to the nitty gritty and tell y'all what to do. So we gonna get into it. So basically, the first thing I wanna tell you guys, before you get a cut, before you're like interested in getting a cut, waves are a little bit different. I really wanna explain this because a lot of times when you aren't, when you don't have waves, you can just wake up one day and just say, hey, I want a haircut. Like I'm done with my hair, I really don't feel like doing it. It's just why I want a haircut. So before you, have, take that mentality into waves. I want to tell you guys that you really want to introduce wolfing to your technique. Like before you decide, hey, it's time for a cut. Like you just randomly wake up. It's the weekend. You want to cut. You want. You're going out. Just think like, hey, did I wolf? Should I wolf? You know what I mean? Like, am I going to get ready for a wolf in the next couple of weeks? Because wolfing is really is what's going to take your waves to the next level, and then also is what's going to set you apart from other waivers. So I want you guys to keep that in mind because like you are pretty much like me, because basically when I first started waves, I was just kind of just getting cut whenever it was really sporadic. It was all over. Like I get cut one week, next week I'm going to get a cut. One week I'll get a cut super low. One week I'll get a cut high. Like if you were on my channel, like I was getting cuts like crazy. I was getting high phase, low phase. I was really trying to figure out how I want my videos to go. And I was figuring out what haircut I wanted. And then even back in my channel, you guys were trying to figure out like, well, you didn't like the cut I was getting. So it was like, it was a lot. But basically just keep in mind that wolfing is your top technique when getting a cut. And basically what I want to explain what wolfing is, is wolfing is basically just growing your hair out. It's growing your hair out, but also maintaining the routine, the techniques that I teach you in my videos. And then also it's just getting your hair as long as possible. So you understand your hair, you learn your hair, you understand what products work for your hair and everything like that. You have to be mindful of that because everyone's hair is different and then your hair reacts differently to the routines and methods that you use on it. So everyone's pretty much different, but at the same time, we have same common methods that everyone can use depending if you're a straight hair waver, a medium hair waver, or a coarse hair waver. So just keep that in mind when you're wolfing, understand what type of hair waver you are, and the process is gonna go a lot smoother. So for wolfing, it's also, depending on the cut, when you're wolfing longer, you wanna know, as I said before, what type of waver you are, because once you know what type of waver you are, you can figure out how long you need to wolf for to get those results that you're looking for. So, as you may know, if you're a straight hair waver, you're going to be wolfing for a lot longer than, let's say, a coarse hair and medium hair waver. The straight hair waver is normally, and I learned this, is like eight to ten weeks. Like, that's pretty much a long time. You have to keep that in mind of like, okay, you know, I'm not going to be able to get a cut for this long. I'm all okay with that. But if you want those waves, that's just something you got to do for a straight hair waver. Because once that pattern sets in for straight hair waves... It's time for a YouTube channel because you're going to go crazy. Like the waves is going to be everywhere. You know, you'll get the likes, you'll get the attention. So just keep it in mind. It's a it's a process. But at the same time, like once you reach that that finish line of your wolf and like getting the cut, fresh cut, it's up from there. You know what I mean? Like you're going to get the attention, you're going to get the, uh, the views and everything like that. So keep that in mind. And then for my medium hair waivers, we can pretty much do, I would say for a strong wolf, we can do like a month. I would say a month. So that's like four weeks, five weeks, something like that. So uh, we can pretty much do that long. That's pretty good for us um, because after that, our hair starts to over curl at that point if we go anything further than that. So keep that in mind. You don't want to go too far, but you don't want to go too, uh, you know, too uh, early. So just keep that in mind. But you know, a month is pretty good for us. Like for me, like a month, I'm pretty much understanding like, okay, my hair is longer. My hair grows faster. You can do two months, 
But you know, depending on how fast your hair goes, your hair goes a lot faster than most people. You want to try a month. If not, you can do two months. But you know, don't do, don't overdo it because at some point when your our hair over curls, you can lose progress to the point where your uh, your wave is going to be like forcing your pattern. So just keep that in mind. Whether if you're doing 180 or 360, just keep that in mind. And then as we got uh, the coarse hair wavers, the coarse hair wavers. You guys honestly get waves the fastest, so you can wolf. I would say you can wolf. You don't only have to wolf for like right under a month. I would say a month for the longest for you guys, just because like anything other than that, your hair may dry out. Your hair may dry out or you may get more of a, a frizz look. So if you're not looking for that, if you don't want to work harder than what you have to or keep using like really, really tough, hard brushes to make sure your hair is laying down, I would say just under a month is good for you guys. Um, you know, just in between cuts. If your hair grows slow, you could do two months like medium hair waivers. Um, if you're really advanced though with the, um, the coarse hair waivers, you can do three months. Um, that's just really gonna give you the best pattern possible. It's very long to not get a cut for that long, just get lineups, but you know, if you do three months, that's pretty much saying you're elite because you know what you're doing, you're staying in a routine and you're not giving up. You know what I'm saying? You're going even longer than what you think you can go or you're going even longer than what's like advised. So if you're elite, you can do three three months, you know, for a course or whatever, but just make sure that like you're being up on your routine. Like that's the last part really what I want to get into which is making sure no matter how long you wolf, make sure that you understand that your wolf is getting you prepared for your wave sessions after. So if you have a really, really strong wolf session, like, you know, within that month, under a month, or even three months, you are understanding that this is gonna propel you and it's gonna get your pattern to the next level. And then after that, your hair is gonna be trained. It's gonna, you're gonna understand the process a lot better. And then it's gonna be downhill from there. You did the, once you do the wolf, it's like, you did the hard part, you're good. You go to, you Gucci, you know what I mean? So just think of it that way because once you get that hard part of the way, everything's downhill, your waves are looking good. And then now you can just focus on what type of pattern, you know, bust out any quick force that you may have, anything that you wanna tweak on your pattern, you can do that. This is time for that. And this is smooth sailing downhill from there. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Just wanna make sure that you guys are up to date on the wolf technique and then up to date on making sure that you know how long to wolf for. Because then in the end, this is really what is gonna get your hair cut to perfection get to where you need it to be and then also get it to the levels to where you can start on your own youtube channel or get it to the point where you can do your own tiktok so you know tiktok is blowing up a lot of people are doing that so that's something that you want to think about because if there's ways people gonna watch you know what i mean so that's it for the video if you like the video make sure you like comment subscribe turn on post notifications i'll be back with another video thanks so much for watching and i'm out